We introduced DemoCut, a system for creating concise DIY video tutorials from recorded demonstrations. DemoCut uses a variety of editing techniques to condense unnecessary or repetitive actions and emphasize important details of the demonstration. To create a tutorial, the user starts by recording a demonstration of a task with a stationary video camera. We assume that the user records one uninterrupted take, narrating the action as he goes. Our annotation interface helps the user identify meaningful parts of the recording. As the user plays through the recording, he can add one of five markers to indicate that something important is happening. The supply marker indicates a description of a supply or tool that is required for the task. The step marker indicates the beginning of a new step in the demonstration. The action marker denotes a relevant action, in this case, chopping. The close-up marker indicates an action that should be viewed in a close-up. For this marker, the user specifies a rectangle indicating the desired frame of the close-up view. Finally, the cutout marker indicates an unnecessary action or mistake. In this case, the demonstrator leaves the frame for several minutes. Note that the user does not have to be very precise and he does not have to specify segments. He just has to place each marker at some point during the corresponding action. He can also drag the markers around once they're placed on the timeline. After the user annotates his video, DemoCut uses simple video and audio analysis techniques to automatically expand each marker into a segment that represents the corresponding action in the demonstration. For example, here's the segment for the supply marker that we saw earlier. And here is the segment for the chopping action. The DemoCut editor shows all of the computed segments in a vertical list to the right of the main video viewer. To make the tutorial as concise as possible, DemoCut automatically makes editing decisions that either remove or condense certain segments. The system automatically removes marked segments that correspond to cutout markers and unmarked segments that show a static frame and do not include any narration. If a marked segment includes narration, we detect and remove silences to create a continuous block of narration and then speed up the video so that it lasts as long as the narration. Since this fast motion effect breaks the sync between the audio and video tracks, it is not appropriate for segments where the narration refers to specific visual events. For these cases, the user can choose to apply a leapfrog effect that plays the audio and video together at normal speed when there is narration and skips the interstitial segments. In addition to making the video more concise, DemoCut provides several effects that add or emphasize important information. First, the system automatically overlays subtitles that show the user-specified text that corresponds to each marker. For each close-up segment, DemoCut creates a zoomed-in view based on the user-specified region of interest. The user can override DemoCut's automatic editing decisions by manually specifying which effect to apply to a given segment. Once the user is happy with the results, he outputs the video from DemoCut. Here are the first 30 seconds of the final video. So today we'll be uh, making a simple salad dressing with, um, with just the few ingredients that you see here. A small onion or a shallot, in this case we have a small onion. Some pine nuts. Some parmesan, which will grate. All right, so the first step is uh, we should dice up this, this onion over here. We should try to mince this pretty, uh, pretty finely, otherwise we'll get big chunks of onion and um, you know, those might end up being a little bit too intense. In 
summary, DemoCut is a DIY video editing system that enables users to create clear and concise tutorials of physical tasks without resorting to low-level frame-by-frame editing operations. Please refer to our supplemental materials to see several video tutorials that recreated using our system.